Well, it's sort of windy out here. It's sort of beautiful Monday morning. I believe it's the see if it is sixth or seventh of March. Uh, it's, I'm just behind on the days here, but it is Monday because I know yesterday was Sunday. So anyway, I'm I'm here at the front of our property, and I'm just gonna. Uh, we still have some trees that are dormant, but and bushes uh, also. Uh, here in the front part of our property uh, but they're about ready to explode and then some have already started to blossom so I just wanted to do a, just a real quick uh, so you can you can see where it's at now and then two or three months from now you'll see it will be totally different you know so I'm gonna switch uh, position and what you're looking at here is our chestnut tree and these are the, the old leaves that from last year the tree is absolutely alive. It may may look dead, but it's it's alive, and uh, it will be doing new growth here shortly. So, uh, so so much for a a dead looking tree, but it's not dead. And then I wanted to show you this. These are uh, let's see hazelnuts. I bought these from Fast Growing Trees. It's an online uh, nursery. And I've purchased several of our trees from Fast Growing Trees. And this was like a bush. It says you can, uh, hazelnut trees or hazelnut bushes can be pruned to grow up as a tree or as a huge bush. Uh, well, I chose to, to head towards the tree scenario, and I knocked off a whole bunch of uh, shoots that were that would have made this look more like a future bush for this season of 2023. As you can see, I cut cut them down, and I I looked for the strongest limbs, and that's what you're seeing here. And more than likely, and they're they're both ready to to bud out, okay. And um, one of those will survive, and the other one I'll knock off, so all the energy and the growth can be in the one. So I have two hazelnut trees. I did this one's a little bit smaller for whatever reasons. It's totally alive, and uh, I left two two things on it. You can also see where I had chopped off all the other. Uh, sprout spouting limbs or whatever uh, so all the new growth can go into these two and out of these two I'll choose one and uh, perhaps I might just keep both of them but I, I, I would like it to be like a tree so anyway these are hazelnuts and uh, I'm uh, we're here in northeastern Tennessee and it's pretty exciting okay this real quick is a black apple uh, got the tree from Alabama Again, I'm in northeastern Tennessee here, and it's just like about ready to start leafing and blossoming out. And uh, believe me, that stem, the stem of this black apple tree was a little bit slimmer last year. It's been growing. And uh, so anyway, I'm sort of excited about that. Uh, hopefully it will continue to do really well. And uh, over here, is a golden delicious and it's the same thing again today is monday march 7th i think it's the 7th please forgive me i'm just i did i should have looked at the calendar before i made this video um but this is like three years old now and uh since i planted it and uh, it had a f two or three apples last year they didn't do too much I'm hoping this year it will be stronger and uh, more productive. And then lastly here on the, well, no, not really. This is another, supposedly another golden delicious apple tree. It's looking really good, it's healthy. And uh, let me see, what else? Okay, so what I'm doing next here is, this is my vineyard. I've got three, four, four wide eight feet long uh, poles that I put wires through about 50 some feet across at the side of the house here and uh, I have eight muscadine 
plants growing here, but I think that's too much because uh, I've watched other videos on, on muscadine vineyards and one, one plant can get huge. So I'm thinking of doing another vineyard. When I say vineyard, I mean another three posts, bringing them out four to five feet from where these posts are at because uh, eventually we will replace this wooden, po you know, we're gonna replace all of this. This is old and uh, I wanna expand the front, the back of our property more towards the front of the property. But this is what these plants looked like last year. It's just a huge conglomeration from the nursery and a bunch of stems, chaos, that's what it looks like to me. And uh, that's really a mess over there. And right now I'm trimming them up to look like this one. The one you just saw, this, this one looked just like it, but I pruned it and I wanna get one branch going this direction and another branch going that direction and one coming up here up 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 uh, didn't quite make it last year so i got a tie thing to bring it up so it can grow on this this uh wire up here on top so that's pretty cool i got it uh positioned three feet from the base of the foundation of the house and i'll bring the next set out about five or six feet out further hopefully it won't be bumping into the apple trees because i have a zero turn that i need to get in and out i'm going to take this metal uh siding here i'm going to take it out and i'm going to throw some seed into here and i'm going to clean all this up take out the other bushes that are in there and this will be uh i'm gonna i want the grass to grow into here and uh, so it would be an, an easy mow, you know, to go around the muscadine grapes here. So, I mean, these are things that I'm working on right now, and hopefully I'm successful. So we'll find out. Okay, that's it for the moment.